Alright, hello guys, my name is Kit, and in this video I am going to do number 6.35 for the James Stewart book uh, for calculus. So, number 5 is use the cylindrical shell method to find the region bounded by the given curve that revolves around the y axis. So, so, I'll just draw out what the given is. So, y equals negative x squared, y equals 0, x equals 0, x equals 1. And usually I just start off by graphing this because it makes it a whole lot easier. This is good enough, I think. Um, okay, let's draw the simple ones first. So y equals 0. Oh yeah, this is the x axis and this is the y axis. Uh, orange pen. This will be the y equals zero line. All right, and then x equals zero is going to be this line. X equals one. I should make the markings one, two, three, four, five. So <coughs> one is going to be straight line I'll just use another pen black okay x equals one <coughs> Fin <coughs> I'm sick sorry and finally I will graph the y equals x uh, e to the power of negative x squared so uh, oh boy so Let's see what it would be at zero. So zero uh, is just going to be e to the power of zero, which is just one. So it's going to be the point here. All right, and then see negative x squared. So let's see what happens when I put one. So e it becomes negative one. All right, e to the power of negative one is one over e. Which is, I'll just use my calculator, e to the power of negative 1, point three nine three point three six seven eight seven. Okay, oops. Gosh. Uh, okay, this is, I'll just call this e negative 1. Alright. Okay, so now we know our region is going to be this little area right here. Alright, and then it revolves around the y-axis. So we have to make another one here. So this is about good. And then it's going to be like this. This makes it look ugly, but whatever. Alright, and what I usually do is I start off with... Um, Let's see, start with my integral, then 2 pi. Next, I know that, uh, next, I have my ending boundaries, so I know that x equals 1 and x equals 0. Alright, so that's the boundary of this region right here. Next, I need to know my x, I mean, uh, my radius, which is always just going to be x. All right, and then the the height will always be e to the power of negative x squared. Uh, I'm not even gonna explain. This is too hard to explain. So this is the radius height. This is the height. This is the radius. All right. <coughs> Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to find the integral of this thing. Uh, gosh, let's see how how I do that. So I know that hmm, e negative x squared. Hmm, e negative x 
squared. But I know that if I derive this, I'll get e negative x squared and then negative 2x. So I guess just divide by negative 2. So if I divide this by negative 2, I get e negative x squared times negative 2x over negative 2. This cancels out, which gets you x e negative x squared. Alright, cool. So that means that the integral is e negative x squared over negative 2. Alright, and then what we do next is we just plug in these, uh, the 1 and the 0 ending points. So e to the power of negative 1 is negative 2. Then minus e to the power of 0 over, what is this? Oh, negative 2. So it will be equal to e um, negative 1 over negative 2 minus 1 over negative 2 which is equal to e negative 1 over negative 2 plus 1 over 2 then we multiply all of this right here I'll just move it over here it's starting to look ugly paste then we multiply all of this by 2 pi Okay, so let's see if I multiply that, uh, it'll be pi over e, negative pi over e, plus pi. And then this should be the answer, units cubed. So let's see if I'm right. So the answer in the book is pi uh, times 1 minus 1 over e. So pi, and yeah, that's pretty much the same as this. So this is the answer. Um, I hope that this helps. Uh, yeah, bye.